Hello everyone, JRDL96 here with a brand new reaction. As you can tell by the title, it's another Jacksepticeye video, and it's been a while since we've seen anything Jacksepticeye related. The last thing we saw from Jacksepticeye was some of his older videos when he was playing, you know, the uh, game based on getting over it, or getting over it in general. But I think the last one we saw of one of his recent videos was when he was addressing, like, his status on YouTube at this point, because he hasn't been very active as he used to be he would just occasionally you know post something like a two three hour video of him playing a game or something like that but that was the only thing we saw and he addressed like okay at this point in my life i might have maybe maximum of two years left in my you know youtube career that's probably how far i can go but lately he has been posting a little bit on his secondary channel known as Spidicey, which a lot of people didn't realize is his secondary channel. A lot of people thought it was like a fan account or something, but it turns out it was his second channel. Like a couple of videos he talked about, like, you know, some of the things he would paint when he 3D prints things. He p likes to paint them. But this one that he just posted more recently caught my attention because of the subject matter, the greatest movies of all time. Now... It kind of reminded me of the video he did, I think, a couple of years ago where he talked about his favorite video games of all time. He did this weird, tr you know, trend where you put nine photos and you reveal it and it's the nine games of, of your, you know, of all time, whatever. Like, no, in no specific order. But I'm assuming, I don't think it's going to be like that here with the movies, but I'm well aware, I think, of one of his favorite horror movies is Paranormal Activity 1. He stated that a lot, especially on Brain Leak. Speaking of that, he recently ended that podcast with Ethan. So it's unfortunate that podcast didn't last so long. Enough of me rambling here. I might as well just get right into it and see what other movies is his favorite. Like, what is his, what is his other favorite movies of all time? Besides, like, Paranormal Activity 1 or whatever. Like, what is his favorite, you know, comedy, action, drama, you know superhero movies if questionable i know they're not necessarily true cinema but we, it's still movies but i wonder like what uh, other genres of movies does he like you know like what's other movies does he enjoy so i want to see like what other movies he likes so without the uh, duh let's react to this video shall we jack septicai presents my favorite movies ever oh my god the intro Milk drinkers oh, that here. T shirt. Here to talk that about T shirt. My favorite movies of all time. This is going to be what I one. think the best things are. What is, what is this doing? This isn't going to be one of those lists where I'm like, oh, these are the best movies ever made, and everybody like Roger like, Ebert or something. List. And if you don't agree with it, who cares? Make up your own list. This is going to be like a top ten list. Oh wow, There's okay. No order to these, I just kind of like. There's no order. Okay, fair going. enough. Everybody knows that definitely my top pick for favorite movie of all time. Hot fuzz. I've talked about that endlessly okay. on my channel for a really long time. I think comedy stuff is just... That's one of his favorite comedies. Resides. I think I loved watching comedy movies when I was a kid. And Hot Fuzz is the pinnacle of that. There's plenty of other movies that you could say are the best comedies of all time. Wayne's World, like probably. Shaun of the Dead over Hot Fuzz. Boston I Powers. Would, and I am the one talking. I don't know if you want to consider that a comedy. I'm the one that is allowed to talk right now, so shut up and listen. Huh. I'm so blue. Go away. I just think Hot Fuzz has so many things going for it i think there's not a single wasted piece of dialogue in that movie because every single thing they talk who directed about, that one was it uh edgar wright or was it someone now, else seeing it probably about 15 times sean penn was in it right stuff that i didn't see before like a poster in a window or something if you've grown up watching british yeah that actors, i think that's sean penn it right like a who's who of british actors in that movie but there's also a bunch of twists and turns in the movie that i didn't expect going into it the first time and i think that that's really fun the first time yeah i think that's it. a and great thing about like, movies catches me off guard when, when you think so you know what's going to happen, but then they give you this twist. If I need to pick me up. Got a mustache. I know. Second <laughs> on my list. The world has changed. And some things that should... Lord be of the Rings. Happen. One of the Lord of the Rings movies. Is Lord oh, the of the Rings, but The Fellowship. Now, I could put every I guess you could say the first the movie, I guess. I think they're all 10 out of 10 movies. Of course. I'm a sucker for the first part of things, especially when it comes to fantasy. I think Lord of the Rings is the greatest fantasy ever written, um, even though I've never read it. <laughs> <laughs> I think 
the movies are incredible. They came at me at a time in my life when I was really young and I just yeah in the early two thousands. They been started I think in two thousand like, like the early two thousands and then video games. That was it's it. It's kind of hard not to love Lord of the Rings. They're so intrinsically connected to one another and as a kid who loved like final, final fantasy, fantasy games and just loved fantasy worlds in general yeah you get vibes of it like, oh, man, that's like your, exactly your niche I want. I want to your, your, you know, your favorite kind of thing is... i talked about reading stormlight archive fantasy recently, stuff and the first book was my favorite because i just love getting to learn the world there's something cozy about i never really got into the lord of the rings the third so, movie, like, i tried a bit but it's just it's not me and i love seeing the fellowship if you guys like lord of the rings all four more power to cool. you, yeah, really but I just, I just, I didn't find anything appealing like about it. That's it. That's it. it. You it's shall not pass. Like there are certain I things that I know because of the cool, memes and like you know the middle of that clips of the movie. A low, and my brain kind of switches off. Again, ten out of ten movie. The Return of the King as well. There's some parts. Oh yeah, where I'm not locked in. A lot of things in you know the third film. That was like one of the higher grossing films in the series. Was the third film. Cover all the lands of darkness. This what about the Hobbit movies? Really what about the movies? Hobbit I don't series? Think I talked about this. Did yeah, you like the Hobbit series? series? Like a Jackson Pollock or Ernest Hemingway. You read about those guys. You never read about who won or lost because they got into a brawl. Dazed and confused. I adore the movie Dazed and Confused. Any of you who've watched it are probably now your neurons are firing. <gasps> Dazed and Confused mention. Whoa! All right, all right, all right. You know what? Let's. That talk sounds like, like Matthew Matthew McConaughey movie, over there. YouTuber or TikToker. I think Dazed and Confused. Yeah, it's, it's the best. It's the best <laughs> film. I got introduced to that movie by my brother, and he always had that sort of like rocker, kind of hippie, not really hippie vibe. And I don't really romanticize like the '60s or the '70s. Like some people would. I love the way the characters act. I love the way they yeah, talk. Yeah, this is definitely. I, I could tell this is a really movies. old school movie. I love just the whole atmosphere of that movie. I could and tell I based on how it's filmed and you know the way and that it's the like picture looks. It banger, feels like an old film. ZZ Top. You got fucking Lowrider in there. You got some like uh, Ozzy Osbourne, Black Sabbath. You got huh. Black Sabbath in it. Yes. It's just an incredible soundtrack. And as someone who's like a metalhead, rocker kind of person, it's I always throw on that soundtrack. The guy who played in a band whenever and played the like, drums. Whenever I'm just like, I want to listen to it. I want to listen to that. Like, it's been a workout soundtrack for me as well. I think it's just great. I think everybody should watch Dazed and Confused. You might not get it, but for the, for the people who do get it, you understand why I put it into that list. The whole movie takes place over one night. It's like one day and one night. And oh, wow. That's <laughs> it. It's just so good. Go watch it. <laughs> Oh, that's it. I fucking saw that <laughs> shit. You two are fucking dead. You hear me? You're fucking dead. That's Ben Affleck, isn't it? I was kind of struggling Holy to put shit. this one in because I was like, do that I That looks like a young Ben Affleck. That's probably one of his first roles, right? I think I do. What happened? Oh. Predator! The first one. The very first one. That was a great film. I love that. Again, I just love I got science fiction. Time to bleed. I love horror. And I think Predator is one of those movies that's it's just perfect. There's not a thing wrong with that movie. Seeing no, like the no. big meathead guys go up and Dylan, you son of a son bitch. Of a bitch. <laughs> and I'm a goddamn sexual tyrannosaurus. And Jesse Ventura fucking chewing. Jesse Ventura, it's, man. It's just so I ain't got no time so to cool. bleed. I would love to know what it was like to watch that movie as it came out. Like, did people know that that was the vibe? Or did people go, like, Metal Gear Solid 2? Did you go in thinking it was one thing and then you were shocked by something About how else? great it as was? As a kid, watching that movie... How are you not gonna like it? As a kid who has another great brain, one is Terminator Predator 2. Cool Even the first one was good was so too, but I think the second the one was great, better than that. And I love that. But I don't think well. when it comes to like it's the pre just, the other Predator movies, movies yeah, I don't think they really hit the uh, hit you know that note that the first that movie did. Thing with pacing. Like I don't think the first film you know like the other films did better than the other you know the first film did. Since the beginning of time, Jurassic Park. Man has searched the earth. Evidence of its past. Jurassic Park. So far, I think this Jurassic is the fifth Park. film. Again, another perfect movie. There's, Jurassic there's Park 1. Never really got into that movie, I but I've seen a lot anything. of clips from I the movie the and, you know, year. moments from and the film. As I was reading it, I was but like, I just oh, never really got into movie. it. I think and I remember I seeing the third movie in theaters. The movie is just better than the book. But I just never and got into it. there's very few things that you can say that about. I think the book is very dry. A reason that I have Jurassic Park on the list is because it's the first movie I remember seeing in the cinema. One would argue I shouldn't have been going to see Jurassic Park 
as a fucking child, as a baby. <laughs> when did Jurassic Park come out? 1993. 1993. But so you I were five years old at this point old. in your life? I think I was three when I saw it because I remember going to see No, he was born in 1990. No, he was three. Was. Yeah, yeah that's right. I get the, the, the you know, the, not, you know, the, the years confused. He was three at the time. Society. Wow. So it was probably re-released and like put out in cinema again because there was nothing else happening back then. I just loved it. I thought it was so okay, cool. Okay, maybe it's that's a fair assessment. It's another one of those movies where it's like if somebody hasn't seen Jurassic Park and you get to be the one to show it to them, it's the same with Lord of the Rings. It's like, we're in for a special time. We're going to have a bond now. I'm about to give you a core memory. Like every kid loves dinosaurs. A lot of adults love dinosaurs. I still love dinosaurs. So how are you not going to love Jurassic Park? It's amazing. <laughs> Uh, Jeff Goldblum right there. And that I iconic soundtrack. I don't realize how much I love horror things. Here's the thing. You've probably heard people say this before, but horror and comedy are the same thing. They're a product of their time. The stuff that's scary in a horror movie is usually what's scary. Yes, you then. could say that. And the stuff that's funny in a comedy movie is usually It's not as funny as like, as like many years ago or in the future. Yeah, that's the really same thing with comedy movies. These days. Comedy is you build up a joke, you release the joke. Horror like jokes like you build up back scare, then that would be super funny probably won't be funny in today's the world. the vibe of a horror thing. I just love sitting in that atmosphere. So, on my list of best horrors, I... Yes! There it is! I was just mentioning it! Paranormal Activity 1! I love this movie. I, I agree. In my opinion, I know, I think this is one of the Why most terrifying films activity? ever. No, it's simple! Way, it's one of the most simplistic fucking movies you could ever do. Movies out there. And a lot of people are probably going to be like, Paranormal Activity! Of all fucking horror movies? Like The Exorcist, or this, or that? I know that. I didn't really know what the movie was about. I knew it was a new horror movie. I remember there was a weird release for Paranormal Activity, because it leaked. It was at a film festival. It didn't leak. It was just released at film festivals, and there was this campaign that demanded in your city. There's like three different endings to the movie. Yeah, 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 yeah. The original, when it first got made, then the theatrical one, and the alternate ending. And as the movie was playing, it scared the shit out of me. It's just a great movie. I yes. don't care what anybody says. It hit me in such a way that it was all the stuff that scared me from when I was a kid. When I was young, I slept in a bunk bed, like really close to the ceiling, and I could hear scratching on the ceiling. Oh so my god, I could definitely I, I understand why you would kid. consider this movie one of the best. I remember like lying best. down on my pillow being like, is there somebody in the room? And I could hear like my heartbeat in my ears in the Oh pillow. my god. All the stuff that was in the movie was hitting like this trauma center in the middle of my head. Like it was like hitting you home, like oh fuck. It me that way before. And I'm glad it did. One thing that I hate about horror movies is that people will go see a horror movie, it happened with Long Legs recently, where people are like, scariest movie ever. Pfft. I thought it was cringe. I was rolling my eyes and laughing at it in the movie. It's like, okay, cool, good for you. You're different than the rest of us. You're better than us. You, you got us. The rest of us who <laughs> thought it was cool and creepy, we're just stupid. Yeah, good for you. Horror movies are one of those things that you need to like go in and be like, I want to be scared. A lot of people go into horror movies yeah. thinking, you're going to have to try really hard to get through me. And that's not fun. That's boring. You're fucking boring. And you'll see it in a lot of stuff that I do. Like whenever I do a horror thing on my main channel, and it's like, oh, Sean's not on camera. What's going to happen? Oh, he's possessed in the corner. That found footage, glitchy camera kind of stuff is very heavily rooted in Blair Witch Project and Paranormal Activity. Yeah, I can that's definitely see shit. that. That's my gem. I love yeah, that so I love much. that. I love that aspect about some of his, you know, little ego things that he would do, like the found footage Exorcist stuff. Exorcist is also on my top ten list. Oh, wow. Again, I have a I video on my main channel talking about it where sure. I thought that's surprising my sister to me, was Because you just talked about, about a... a board and she got a VHS. I was ten years old. I'm she surprised that you mentioned like, that because you talked about paranormal activity. Ever. And she was trying to be like... But yeah, yeah I remember watching that movie and then I watched in horror class. And to be honest, it is very eerie and creepy. I don't know if kids have that anymore. But my God, like... Kind of it's, like ruined people, it's not as scary as like how people were saying anymore. that's the other thing like you mentioned about horror movies man, just like comedy, comedy movies now, but they don't age well in a different you know era they probably won't be as scary so in today's world compared to how when it first came out in the 70s when everybody was calling it one of the scariest fucking movies of all time seeing that for the first time and having everybody yeah there are creepy fucking moments in the movie fucking sure i'm not saying that this not terrifying doesn't really happen anymore you know what she did you know like 
whole thing. For and fuck's sake, it is fucked up. Ring. And I'm like, oh god, do I have seven days to live after watching this? But when I watched it, I was so scared. And that night, I thought my sister was possessed, and I said, oh, <laughs> Yeah, I remember, I remember that story he told on his, his channel. If a movie does that to you, it's a very formative movie. And even now, when I watch The Exorcist, I can still like vividly remember where I was watching it for the where first the TV time. Was me kind of like. Kneeling and you get that the bed, eerie feeling, like, oh, fuck. On the bed, like, it's like oh, oh, childhood drama. It's just a really fucked up movie if you watch it. Maybe not so much anymore. We've had a lot of movies that are kind of, like, outdoing it in terms yeah, of... Yeah, that's, that's the it's thing. It's just great. Exorcist 1, amazing movie. Yeah, I would say that. It's a good movie, but not as terrifying as you would say in today's world. You know this one girl with hair like this? Scott Pilgrim? Ramona Flowers. Hey. She's a little hardcore. What? Scott, I forbid you from hitting on Ramona. Hey, what's up? Am I dreaming? I also have Scott Pilgrim on this list. I know I have two Edgar Wright movies, Hot Fuzz and Scott Oh, it was Pilgrim. Edgar Wright. Scott okay, Pilgrim I was right. Lodged in here. Scott so Pilgrim, Pilgrim, man. Yeah, that, that I, think I have not seen that, but I've heard how good it was. Be bad. Like that clip where it's like, is Scott home? And he like closes the door and Scott runs past the door and then jumps out the window behind him. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! Oh my gosh! That's the fucking best joke Oh my ever. god! These are jokes that I still say to this day. If I have to go pee, I'm like, I have to pee. I don't know, man. The actors. Chris are Evans, great, man. That's like the biggest paced. surprise you know to me. I didn't even know that he was in that movie. Scott Pilgrim and Hot Fuzz. That's exactly my type of movie. The Pad, the Rat, of the League of Evil. Isn't it like a? This isn't it technically right? a superhero uh -huh. film too? Shifting gears a little bit. The Truman Show is on my list. Oh, yeah. That's a great one, too. I remember watching that. I'm trying to think of Jim Carrey movies that would be on this list. Like, I love Liar Liar. Ace. I love Me, Myself, and Irene. I Ace Ventura. I love, love, love the second Ace Ventura movie. That was one of those movies that I would watch and repeat when I was a the kid. The Mask. Just play it, rewind the tape, and play it again. I, like, I loved his performance in the Sonic movies. Oh Me and Evelyn still make jokes about that movie all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking about Jim Carrey movies, and I'm like, Jim Carrey was my favorite actor, my favorite comedic actor when I was young. But I was trying to think of movies that should be on this list that have him, and I think Truman Show is actually my favorite Jim Carrey movie. I don't know, it's also just so intrinsic to my life now, that, like, I'm talking to a camera right now. People watch me sort of live my life, you can go yeah. back through my channel. Yeah, I can totally understand why he would years say of my that. Life, watch me grow. Not being on camera 24-7 and obviously not sharing everything, but you know what I mean. And I think it's just a great Yeah, movie. that's... T I can so definitely see why you would consider this one your favorite, because it just... You kind of... You kind of feel... Because everybody's this, in It hits the you like, oh my TV god, this is almost like reality. Life on Zoom because you're talking to people, to people online. Time zones. I always say good afternoon, good evening, and good night. <laughs> <laughs> Someone who has ADHD, maybe autism... <laughs> And you just want to watch Rain stuff Man, that you oh know you like. The Truman Show is one of those movies for me. I like your pen. I was wondering that myself. The Truman Show. Watch what happens. And last on my list of top ten is another horror movie that I probably should have talked about in the horror section. The Shining. Oh my god. This movie is fucking great, dude. Here's Johnny. It's the Shining. Because that movie, that movie has a, I don't even really need some to moments say in that movie gave me some you know inspirational <laughs> stuff for J.R. Die. Just the way you act or a top list of best movies of all time. Anyway, but it's that movie is fucking movie incredible. I watched the movie when I was younger, loved it, and then read the book. When that I was whole in college, scene when the stairs going really up the like stairs with really you like know. The book. Of the Shining. With I think Johnny I and, you know... With the movie better than it, it's just like... I also like the ending of it It was better. Jack. Know, yeah, with Jack. You know, the, here's Johnny's I mean, scene, like the so Jack much, going up the stairs, chasing like, Wendy. Sure, jokes are different from everybody, but they all kind of feel the same after your brain a while. Horror is like, what are you afraid Maybe of? Maybe it's about... Following you? Like, it follows? I are think we should discuss... Are you abusing you? Like, The Shining... Are when do you think maybe we should take him to a doctor? Like, it depends on what is scary to you. But you had your whole so fucking well life to think things job. over. R.I.P. Shelley Duvall. Who yeah, she just away, recently passed away recently, I saw. I'm glad the, the viral video going around of her kind of like correcting everybody because everyone was like she was so traumatized Stanley Kubrick was awful to her. I oh, think no, no. I don't like, think that's the case. He fucked her up and she didn't want to act anymore. She was like, no, I that's bullshit. Video. I wouldn't trade the experience for anything. Exactly. Why? Because of Stanley. 
and it was a fascinating learning experience. It was such intense work. Yes, granted, it was an intense work. Like that whole scene but took a lot of time. To took a lot out of really the both of them. She's a good actress, or was. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I like that movie. I also, I'm a big fan of things that have, again, if you know me at all, or you've followed my career, or the things I do outside of the videos, like ego content. Yes. You will understand that I like when something has stuff set up early that has a big payoff later. Laying seeds everywhere. And I think Shining is really good at that as well. Another thing I probably noticed about especially some of the things that he does ego content wise, really I wouldn't be surprised if he got inspired for some shots from certain movies list, for his replacing shit. The Shining with 2001 A Space Odyssey. Space Odyssey. Edgar Wright's the only person I've had on this twice. And I really thought I was going to have Stanley Kubrick on it as well. I'm usually a person that's like, I have a favorite director, but I never have a favorite director where I love absolutely everything that they've done. I do like Full Metal Jacket. I do like 2001 A Space Odyssey. I do like Shining, but I don't like everything Kubrick has done. I yeah. love Shaun of the Dead, Scott Pilgrim, Hot Fuzz, and The World's End, but I don't like Last Night in Soho. So I'm not really like whatever the There are certain does, movies that I'll you're not a fan of. But 2001 Space Odyssey. Like I, I could say Sam Raimi, I love his made. work. It like predates the moon landing. What? You can watch that movie now, like right now. If you've like I have a fan of Sam Raimi and his work because of the Spider-Man films. I love his Evil Dead movies. I thought the they were fucking ridiculously crazy, and insane. Like, Even Army like of Darkness was fucking fun. Some of the sound design is a bit. Dated. I didn't watch the Dark Man like, movies, but but the shots. I didn't watch the Oz movie. I watched Doctor Strange. 2001 would be in there. But because I mentioned Alex Garland as well, I also love the movie Annihilation. And it's one of those movies where I'm like... Wasn't that a like more recent movie? movie With, that wasn't Natalie Portman watch, in that movie? The bear scene, if you've seen it and you know what I'm talking about, fucking incredible. But I also think the ending to it, which was not everyone's cup of tea, totally understandable. But for me, it hit all the notes of things that I love. I think the soundtrack mixed with the visuals of the ending of that movie are probably the most perfect a movie has ever done it. I listen to that soundtrack religiously all the time because I have a very powerful, very cool cinema room in my house. I <laughs> wanted to show it off in a video because it's such a cool thing that I've been able to do, but I don't want to have it be like me showing off like rich person things. Yeah, I, I totally know, get that. that. People would be interested in. I'm kind of I totally get that. Not, like I totally could understand. I think he people's face even like that and kind of like stated in a couple of interviews. Mean. He doesn't want to like. like be uh, showing off like him with in Lamborghinis and, and shit. For the you know what I mean? Like he doesn't want to come off as one of those people on YouTube that just do shows that. off the cool shit they have. Time. Other honorable mentions on my list. I mentioned Alien earlier. Oh wow, was Alien! Really close to putting Predator out of the list. Oh, I, I was just gonna say, didn't he also like the new I one that just came out? Romulus, actually. Yeah. Of this video coming out. I thought it was great. I thought it was the best Alien movie since the second one. Other honorable mentions. Arrival is one. Oh, and Arrival. A tattoo from Arrival. Um, oh wow, that's what it's from. Gram, the language that the aliens speak. In. Oh, that's this what it came. Walk, that's that tattoo. And the oh wow, that's great. For me, was like it's a Arrival. Life, that was with Jer Jeremy Renner. I think Amy Adams as well. Die, so you're not infinite. If you go this way and think about the journey this way, it's like ooh, rough beginnings, but then stuff gets easier as you're an adult. Or maybe you had a great childhood and stuff got harder as you're an adult. I don't know. But I love that movie. Again, a very different type of like alien invasion movie and I'm a sucker for those. It also started my love for like Denis Villeneuve is one of my favorite directors now and the way he directed Dune and Blade Runner 2049. Like his aesthetic and the sound design and everything is just... Oh, it hits that sweet spot for me. Another one on my list is The Matrix, because why Matrix. not? Matrix fucking rules. And I also found it funny when the movie came out, everyone was like, it's the most difficult to understand movie of all time. What is The Matrix? <laughs> Nobody knows. And everyone was so confused. I was like, isn't it really obvious that The Matrix is kind of like a video game? And now if you watch it, it's like, well, fucking obvious what it is. And I just think it's a great movie. A uh, fucking great action movie. It's so video gamey the way it is. Just slow motion and everything and... Yeah, it's ridiculous fights. at times, so cool. but it There's looks probably cool. like 50 other honorable mentions I could put on this, but another one that kind of like came to my brain as I was Oh, Pulp Fiction. Pulp Fiction cause that That's a great movie, movie too. Movie I love that movie. I thought it was cool to say Pulp Fiction was your favorite movie, but I do really like it. But anyway, that's my list. I would love to know 
everybody else's lists. Put a top 10 in the comments if you want to. If you don't have a top 10, top three, top five, whatever. Like genuinely, I'm not just saying that. Whenever I make a list like this and think about it, I think I'm missing ones that- so Yeah, that's the issue. There's like, so oh, many I great movies that you that enjoy. You can't brain narrow it down to 10. For some reason, I just didn't think about it. I'm also gonna do a, a video about my favorite games. So stay tuned for that one. A lot of them people know already, but I think there's gonna be some surprises in there for you jackheads out there, for people who like- Jackheads. Anyway, thank you for, uh, for watching. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so there it is. The 10 favorite movies of his, you know, of all time that he considers one of the greatest movies of all time. Like, I do agree, you know, with some of his choices, but I, like, I found his list pretty interesting. Like, and I love his take on comedy and horror. Like, how in ho with comedy and horror movies, like, certain things that happen in those specific movies, like, when they came out in, like, let's say the 80s or the 70s, probably won't hit the same if someone watches it in the two th today, like, into the 2020s or, you know, in 10 years ago. It probably won't hit the same like it did back then. Like, some of the comedy films back then, like, you know, Beverly Hills Cop or, you know, like, I saw, like, recently, uh, it was on... TV and before the movie started to play they had a little disclaimer saying that there are certain things that a lot of things that are pretty sensitive today they had to put a fucking disclaimer in the beginning of the fucking movie like that's just kind of unfortunate and I think that's just the political correctness of you know the softness of people in today's world but when it comes to horror movies there are certain because I think at the same time when it comes to horror movies I think the issue is that you are expecting to get jump scared and when it doesn't you call it the horrible film like people were calling uh the conjuring one of the greatest movies i saw that and i thought it sucked like i didn't think it was great and i know that's it's kind of similar to like let's say paranormal activity which i love i love paranormal activity i just didn't see anything in the conjuring maybe it's just because of my exposure to paranormal activity prior to that that I just kind of saw, you know, this movie as like, oh, fuck, this is fucking stupid. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I didn't like The Conjuring. I thought it was all right, but not compared to, like, you know, the, you know, the Paranormal Activity movies. And I know, like, The Conjuring and is kind of based on actual cases. I am aware of that. But, you know, it's just to me, it's like, eh, I didn't really find anything appealing to it. It would be very difficult for me to come up with my own top ten list. Like, because there are so many great movies that I enjoy. Just like he said at the, at the very end, like, it's so hard to narrow it down to just 10. That's the hard part, because he has, like, he said he had, like, 50 other honorable mentions. He talked about Space Odyssey, 2001 Space Odyssey. He talked about uh, the first Alien movie. He talked about all these other films. And, you know, he felt, like, to just to narrow it down to the, you know, the 10 is very difficult because there's so many other great movies that you enjoyed what growing up so like i can understand the difficulty in that when it comes to like one of my favorite movies i mentioned paranormal activity is one of them the first one in particular i consider that one of my favorite movies i don't know if you want to consider this horror as well but it's more like i think more of like a thriller to me more of a horror thriller jaws the first one the first jaws is one of my favorite movies of all time i quote it on occasion it's fucking incredible and it's just what I love about it. I am hoping that no one in Hollywood thinks about remaking this fucking movie. Because if they remade this fucking movie today, you would see the shark all the time. They would CG the fuck out of it. And it would be seen all the time. You would be able to see the shark. But when the shark was made practically, it was a fucking animatronic they had to put in the water. And they, it was always malfunctioning. And sometimes it would not work. Sometimes it would. And... The fact that you didn't see it, you couldn't really see it, that added to that horror factor to that film. It added to the scariness of it. It added to that fear to it. Like, it added a lot more suspense to it. Because you don't know where the shark is. You don't know what it looks like. You kind of have some glimpses of what it looks like. But you can't really see it. And the, the, little, the yellow barrels that they shoot at it to, you know show it kind of swimming underneath the water that was a great like workaround i thought i thought that was a great workaround about that issue they were having with that you know shark that was a great another thing because you could see it coming you know you see the barrels coming and then you see it go underneath the boat 
and it, and you're thinking, oh shit, it's now underneath the boat, and then it, it kind of like you know moves the boat a bit as it goes on goes on the opposite side of the boat. Like there's a lot of great moments in that movie, and there's a lot of great elements in that film that I enjoy. I enjoy, you know, I love Predator. I thought it was phenomenal. And again, I think the sequels that would follow and the reboots and the remakes and whatever the fuck they try to do, it doesn't, you know, hit those notes. It just didn't really feel necessary to make a fucking sequel because of the fact that you didn't have Arnold Schwarzenegger anymore. You just had Danny Glover come in in the second film and then give it, be given a uh, fucking gun from like 1715 or whatever, whatever. Like it wasn't it didn't feel like as special as the first film did. Like, I consider one of my favorite movies from with Arnold Schwarzenegger is Terminator 2. Terminator 2 is fucking incredible. But yeah, I consider Jaws as one of my favorite movies, Paranormal Activity. Uh, fuck. You, know, you, you see how hard it is to kind of figure out what would you consider your favorite movie of all time? The Shining's up there as well. I love The Shining. I just mentioned that The Shining obviously has gave me a lot of inspiration for J.R. Die and how I act. As J.R. Die, there's some elements of that Jack Torrance in him a bit, especially with certain lines. Like, I quoted saying, bash your brains in, I'm going to bash him right the fuck in. Like, you know, there are certain elements that I enjoy from those movies. He talked about it, too, with, especially with his ego content. He talks about, there's you know, with the found footage, you know, kind of style videos, you know, little moments he does in some, you know, videos. He talked about how that was always inspired by Blair Witch and Paranormal Activity. And speaking of, like, inspired by certain, you know, movies, I kept seeing this on Twitter. And no one was point. I don't know if Sean has made a comment about this. If Sean mentioned this in when he was breaking down the video with Chase and in the Iris video. But the shot of when Ante comes down, you see his feet come down first, is almost as identical to the movie Constantine with uh, Keanu Reeves. Same shot. Same shot, and I wouldn't be surprised if that is where he got that idea from. For that shot was from that movie. Like I could include maybe some of the Indiana Jones movies, like The Last Crusade. I love The Last Crusade. I love the first Star Wars, A New Hope. I love A New Hope. I love Spider Man Two. I love the first Iron Man. You know, like I enjoy these certain movies. I love The Dark Knight. You know, and I love Batman Begins. There's so many great movies that I enjoy. It would be very difficult for me to narrow any of that stuff down to just 10 movies on a list. And he even said it wasn't in any specific order. I would probably do the same. I would not do it in any specific order. Like, this is my number one, but these are my 10 favorites. And I know some people would probably be a little annoyed at the fact that most of the you know choices are superhero films. You gotta understand where I'm coming from because of the fact that I grew up with these movies. And another movie I would consider up there, maybe the first Toy Story. I enjoyed the, the first Toy Story. If I had to pick any other Toy Story film besides just the first one, either two or three, I would choose because they were amazing films as well. The first Shrek, the second Shrek as well would be up there probably as of like honorable mentions or whatever. I found his list pretty interesting. Uh, Hot Fuzz, Lord of the Rings, Fellowship of the Ring, Days of Confused, Predator, Jurassic Park, Paranormal Activity, The Exorcist, The Truman Show, Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, and The Shining. Let me know what your favorite movies of all time are in the comments down below. But another thing I want to bring up, and that is uh, his appearance at New York Comic Con coming up in October. Jack Septiguy recently, I guess, a couple weeks ago, revealed in a community post on his YouTube channel that he clarified what days he will be there. He said he'll be there on October 17th and 18th to do, like, you know, promote his comic books, his Alterverse comics, and I guess do some form of like a meet and greet autograph thing as well. So he'll be there those specific days. So after I found out about this, I decided to buy passes for both those days that he will be there the reason why especially with jack except the guy potentially retiring a couple years and this is probably one of the rare times he's ever did signings except the the times he did them in vidcon or uh, pax he hasn't done it in a long time the reason why i want to meet him is because not only to make up for that god-awful initial virtual meet and greet that we did together where i 
botched the photo itself by trying to take my headphones in the middle of it. But knowing that this is probably the only opportunity I have of meeting Jacksepticeye. And he's the only YouTuber besides Ethan and Markiplier that I don't have his autograph of. I have Mark's autograph from the Tasteful News calendar and I have Ethan's autograph from multiple posters. Two of them from the tour and one of them from his 10 year anniversary. But I have not gotten anything from Jacksepticeye. So I want to meet him there and, you know, you know, make up for the horrible virtual meet and greet photo that we did together and also just get some autographed from him. I'll get maybe one of the comic books signed by him. But I'll probably go there dressed up as Chase Brody <laughs> just to have a little fun here, you know? Anyways, I think I'm kind of looking forward to finally meeting Jacksepticeye. I may vlog my experience at Comic-Con just like how I vlogged my experience at Fanatics Fest, but I'm not really sure yet, but we'll see when we get closer to when Comic-Con happens. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's reaction. So if you like what you saw here, hit the like button, subscribe, share this video with your friends. Be sure to ring that bell to be part of the notification squad. Be sure to check out my Instagram because I make clips of Markiplier, Jack said the guy, even myself. I also have the cosplays on there, so go check it out. And be sure to check out my Tumblr and my Discord in the description as well. So until next time, Jared, you'll only six signing out, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.